Whoa, man. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, gosh. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, Nate. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. All right. Time for new tank. All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned 3 Early Access Test Drive for the latest update. This is version 3.15.6.0 that was released last Friday on June 24th. Today, at the time of this recording, is Tuesday, June 28th. So, yeah, as they say, I am once again a day late and a dollar short, or more like four days late and four dollars short. <laughs> but they also say better Nate than Lever, right? And in fact, we are lucky enough to have Officer Nate Lever down here waiting in the wings. He's waiting for you guys to go join him, and he is going to show you some of the new stuff added in this update in his own certain uh, style and flair. So we have tanks, missiles, books and notes, hatches, and uh, a bunch of other tweaks and, and so forth, but we're really interested in that right there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go meet up with Nate. He's been waiting for a while. Let's go catch him, and then we'll get rolling. Oh, that's, that's, that's scrumptious. Oh, gosh, give me another one of those. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, hold on. Hold it up. Wait, 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 one more. Mm. Oh, oh, that's good. Uh, anyway, oh, you, you must be the new guy, right? You're the, uh, the rookie. All right, climb on board, rookie. And by the way, you're late. My name's uh, Nate Lever. I am the officer in charge here. And uh, well, now that you're late and I was late before, I guess we're even. Right, all right. Hop, hop on, hop on, hop in, hop in, hop in. You in? Good. Let's go. We have a uh, an eviction notice to deliver over here. Some dang fool moved on to Ma Mad Cow Island, built up a house, uh, and he I guess he didn't realize that it's actually a, uh, a military test site. Yeah, the military's here. They want to go test some uh, some new tanks apparently. So we got to get him off the property before he gets hurt. Uh, all right, so hang tight. We'll be right there. There it is. Check that place out. Not only did it build a base, but that is just ostentatious. I say that is the ugliest thing. Oh, oh, we're right up at board. Okay, yeah. Anyway, follow me. Let's go get this done. Uh, oh, geez, the military is already here. Wait, guys, wait. Just hold it up. Don't start yet, okay? Let me go see if I can get this guy out of here. Test site B, keep out. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe this guy actually built this uh, ugly thing here, but we'll just we'll just have to evict him right now. Oh, dear, you better run, dear. Better run. Things are going to get uh, splody here pretty soon. So... Uh, let's put the eviction note. Oh, geez, I should put my hat on. Yeah, let me make this official, right? Yeah, uh-huh. All right, now, let's go ahead and make up a note here. Uh, the, the printer down at the station was out of paper and ink, so we're gonna make a note right here. I got all the proper ingredients, and bang! Yep, just like that. I've got some, some cloth, some tape, and that makes a note. <laughs> awesome. Actually, before we put that note on, let's just go inside and make sure nobody's here. Hello? Anybody home? No. Doesn't sound like it. Okay, oh, look at this lousy hatch. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna move this hatch. What is this hatch? This hatch is made out of wood. What a piece of junk. Let's make a new hatch. Yeah, that way we can block people from getting inside so they can't get hurt. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's craft up a hatch. I know how to do this. I got all the, uh, requisite materials inside my pockets. This is one sheet of metal, two scrap, and look at that! It's a metal hatch. We can make wooden hatches too, but you know what? They can't be locked like this one can. And let's climb up here, and let's make sure we put it on properly. Oh! I got my hands up! Freeze! <laughs> get it? I'm a cop, and I, uh, never mind. Alright, let's put this on. You can turn this in various directions here to orientate it the way you wish to have it open and I'm gonna have it open this way on the back side yeah yeah so you so you can get in and out right see now you can climb up the ladder and you can get up and then you can close it and the metal ones of course lock for the person that installed it that's me I'm the officer in charge here uh, Nate Lever better Nate than Lever as they say I hear that, that don't, don't tell me that joke anymore because I heard that growing up for like forever alright so let's put the eviction notice on right here in the door you can't miss it let's uh, what, what should we say how about eviction notice vacate the property in 30 Seconds, cause stuff gonna get blowed up. Officer Nate Le Lever, 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 Officer Nate Lever. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now let's go. Job done. Let's go have some donuts and coffee. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Let's tell these guys. Okay. All right, fellas, the eviction notice has been placed. Give them 30 seconds and then start blasting, okay? All right, uh, we're in the clear. Let's get out of here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I love my intros. They're so bad, but they're still fun nonetheless. Okay, guys, so the whole point here is just to demonstrate some of the new stuff in this version. So, you've already seen the note. Obviously, we've crafted one of those up. You can also make books, too. Um, and I think it's just B-O-O-K. 
if my calculations are correct. Yeah, there it is. I don't have any tape to make that, but it's essentially the same as the note, but you can't put that on walls and stuff. The note you can actually place on, uh, as you can see there, on walls and other things. I think the book you can only place on, like, tables and so forth. Yeah, here's one over here. I actually put one down. Yeah, see, that is, that's, that's the book. We can take that, pick it right up. You can put that on the ground, but you can't place this one on doors, unfortunately, but the note you can. Yeah, see? Maybe that'll change. I'm not really sure, to be honest. But I did notice that when I was setting up this area for this test. Let's put that right back there where it belongs. And you know what we need? You know what this beach is missing? Uh, it's missing a, a little bit of color. So Nelson added the ability to colorize anything that's made with cloth. For example, the beach chairs. And all it takes is a flare of the desired color. So we got green, purple, yellow, etc. Let's go ahead and make a, let's make an orange one. Let's put an orange one by the blue. Orange and blue looks very nice. Put it over here. Bang, look at that, isn't it gorgeous? So you can see that I've made um, blue beach chairs here and also a red umbrella. Like I said, you can do that with anything that you make out of cloth, including the, uh, the umbrellas, flags, um, cots, sleeping bags um all that jazz but we're not going to demonstrate that right now because really what we, we what we want to do is get to the good stuff that's the tanks so we've got two varieties of tanks here the forest green and the desert color obviously why don't we start over here with the forest green and i'm going to grab up some ammunition for it we have missiles so that's what we use for the cannon in this tank and you have to have it in your inventory in order to fire the missiles. And the missiles, by the way, are super rare. They cannot be crafted. They can only be found at military sites. Um, so they're not going to be they're not going to be all over the darn place. Um, and same goes with the tanks. It's very rare, and they only spawn in uh, on two maps right now: Washington and PEI. And Washington, they'll spawn in the destroyed tunnels. Right? There's three of them on this map, as far as I know and also the one on Confederation Bridge. So you might get a tank there, but most likely not, because they're super rare. Now, there are two seats in this thing. You got the driver's seat. That's me in the driver's seat. Hello! <laughs> and we've got the F2, which is the gunner's seat. So you cannot drive and shoot at the same time. So it does require two people to operate if you want to drive and shoot at the same time. So you're going to have to uh, find yourself some friends if you don't already have some. Now, let's go ahead and blast. What does that say up there? Hold on. Hold on. What is it? Let me get out for a sec. Bring up my binoculars and whoops. I'm backed up. So shoot me. Lols. Oh, that Papa Smurf. Yeah, well, he's not going to like this. So let's do it. He says it's backed up. Let's hop in the gunner seat. We have a missile already loaded by default, and we'll fire away. And you have a bit of a zoom here, but not much. Let's see if we can take that sign right out. Boom! Rockets to the moon! <laughs> Look at the damage on that. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's try again. So I just hit uh, R to, uh, to reload, and as long as I have ammunition in my inventory, it will. And that sign is still there, huh? Oh, you hear the rockets like... That's so awesome. Look at the damage this thing does. This is going to be a base buster extraordinaire. Now, let's get a little closer. And that's close enough. Let's switch. I'm going to reload. And let's take that whole base down. Hey, we told the guy, right? We told him. We gave him 30 seconds to get out. He's not here. Well, too bad. Let's shoot Papa's hummingbird. Oh. Is it smoking? I don't see any smoke. So, apparently, these missiles do... A, a little bit more damage than the rocket launcher missiles. They uh, they have less drop and I think maybe better range. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I do think that... I know that they travel faster. They have a higher velocity. But um, you guys can check out the change log notes down below and you can read more about them. Pretty sure the explosion radius is, is larger too. Let's take out the beach uh, furniture too. We don't want anyone to get the wrong idea about Mad Cow Island. All right, so that tank is now out of ammo, or at least I'm out of ammo. Let's go grab some more ammo over here and shoot some more. Okay, got plenty of ammo here. I just cheated some in. <laughs> Let's go blow stuff up, shall we? So it takes two missiles to take out the helicopters, but we got some other vehicles over here. Now it's really slow. It only goes about 20 miles per hour. And the turret doesn't have um, full 360 degree range. So you kind of have to turn the tank toward the 
Whatever you're trying to shoot at. Where you going, dude? You don't come headbutt a, a tank, you dumb dumb. Hey, Officer Nate. Oops, I missed. So we do have a bit of a drop here. Let's go. Uh, let's shoot just above the boat. Got it. Nice shooting. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. Nate's gonna be a little bit late, I think. But better Nate than Lever. All right, here we go. We got a few targets right here. Let me switch back to third, uh, first person. We've got the gas to go. Papa's uh, pickup truck that picks up the gas and makes the deliveries. Right? Shoot that thing. Kablam! One shot. Oh, poor dear. You are in the wrong place at the wrong time, my friend. Wow! I guess I missed. Yeah, that's top speed right there. 20 mph, miles per hour. And, oh, hold up. Hold up, I see a target. Pop his boathouse. Let me show you how far you can turn it. That's as far as it goes to the left. And as far as it goes to the right. So yeah, it does not have full 360 degree uh, angle. Now let's see if we can get Papa's boat. Oh, I see it now. We have exposed it. Look at the thing flying. That's awesome. Whoa, man. Seems like the tank is going to be the base buster of choice. No doubt about it. Now I'm curious to see how this thing fares against other tanks. I have four shells left. And let's shoot this tank. One. Doesn't look like... Is it smoking? Two shots! So two missiles to take down a tank. Hmm. Let's knock out the bridge. We don't want anyone coming over here to Mad Cow Island anymore. Now that the military is back and using it as a test zone. And we're out of missiles, guys. That's it. Out of missiles. And there's one more thing I want to do. This is for shooting Nate's boat. <laughs> See that it's doing damage. Even small arms fire does damage to tanks. I'm curious to see how... Oh, it's already smoking. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Check it out. So that was about a magazine and a half for a, uh, a Peacemaker submachine gun. So, yeah. They're not as invincible as you might expect. Huh. If I can knock it out in small arms fire. So, yeah. That's just for balancing purposes. That might get tweaked. I don't know. You know, Nelson's probably going to play around with it to make sure that the tanks aren't overpowered. And I don't think they are anyway, because number one, they're super rare. They're hard to find. They're pretty easy to blow up as is. And the missiles are just as hard to find as the tanks. And they cannot be crafted. So yeah, they're not like uh, the be all end all, that's for sure. And you know what? I think I might actually, oh, I don't have any more tanks. <laughs> all right, guys, one last test just for poops and giggles. Let's go blow up some uh, some zombies. And Nate here is going to take off his hat. He's off duty right now. So he's just going to... This is just for a little R&R. &R, a little fun stuff here. Let's run over some zombies first. I'm just curious to see what kind of damage this thing does. Obviously, it's going to destroy a uh, one stinking undead. And let's shoot this guy right here. Here he comes. Here he comes. And... Kaboom! Gonzo. And a whole bunch more coming. So yeah, the explosion radius on this is is pretty uh, pretty large. Let's get in the driver's seat and boogie. Let's bring it right into Seattle. Hey, it's pushing me. Stop pushing my tank. <laughs> Apparently, it's made out of cardboard, and zombies can push it around. Stop! 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 They're not doing a lot of damage to the tank, but they are certainly tossing it around. <laughs> oh my gosh! This thing doesn't have any substance to it. It's so light. Yeah, let's take out this fence. Oh, that's so great. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, gosh. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, Nate. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. All right. Time for new tank. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like that, to be honest. But I guess for balance purposes, it's something that we just have to live with. Let's get a new vehicle. And here it comes. Falling out of the sky. Thank you, whoever you are. And let's go right into Seattle. And by the way, the driver is very well protected inside there. You can just barely see his eyes. So it's going to be tough to shoot out the driver. The gunner is highly exposed pretty much on all sides except for the back. Uh, unless someone puts up sandbags, which would probably make sense. Uh-oh, we have a problem with the... Uh... Oh! Oh, jeez! 
I was gonna say we have a problem with the sidewalks. And it seems like I'm stuck. Alright, well this is when you jump in the driver's seat and you shoot something close. Because you don't want it. You gotta go down fighting, guys. And I hear him down there. Oh, reload. Reload before they blow it up. I wanna kill them all. And three, two, one, shoot! <laughs> Got him. I win. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. That hurt. <laughs> and I guess with that, we shall call it quits. I don't have a home! Yeah, Nate doesn't live here. Oh, no, nobody look. Nobody look. Get in the bushes, Nate. Get in the bush. Get down. Okay, guys. I think it's time to call it quits now. This is getting awkward. Let me give you a wave. Hold on. Oh, there it is. You see it? All right, good. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh, that was bad. All right, we'll see you guys later. I got to get some pants on.